हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू अर यूट्यूब चैनल आई होप यू आर इंजॉइंग द वीडियोज फॉर मोर इन साइट ऑन एच आर प्रैक्टिस एंड रियल कॉर्पोरेट वर्ल्ड एक्सपोजर प्लीज सब्सक्राइब टू अर चैनल लाइक द वीडियो एंड डू शेयर इट विद अदर्स ऑल्सो प्लीज प्रेस द बेल आइकन टू नेवर मिस एन अपडेट फ्रॉम एच आर सक्सेस टॉक थैंक्स अलॉट इंजॉय दिस वीडियो टूडे विल बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट हाउ टू क्रिएट अनिंग रिक्रूटमेंट स्ट्रैटेजी बिफोर वी डीप डाइवर इन टू इट we'll be discussing more in terms of uh, the difference between recruitment and talent acquisition well if i talk about recruitment uh, it's actually uh, a process of filling a backfill um person who has already left the company uh, into the team so that is actually called a backfill position or a new position so let's say that a new position has been created uh, to take care of additional responsibilities in the organization the core function of the recruiting is to find the candidates for existing roles that are currently available so ideally the uh, recruitment is all about uh, sourcing screening and then shortlisting the best possible candidate for an existing role into the company that are currently available okay so this is all about the recruitments and let's move ahead into the talent acquisition however if we connect uh, about talent acquisition it's a long process and it's not a short term goal it is actually a process of building relationships with the prospective employees or the candidates anticipating future hiring needs so we prepare a future hiring need uh, not only for next few months maybe for a year or 5 years down the line and creating a pool of the candidates for the same it is a it is more in terms of a strategic approach that develops and nurtures a talent pipeline with a long term view so it's not only for the existing roles that the company thinks of it can even look forward that a new business is coming across into the future for a company and they might look out for the prospective talent team to take care of the business how is it done and what exactly could be the more difference between the recruitment and talent acquisition we'll be discussing over here the first point to cover into this will be planning and strategy it is actually uh, establishing a solid talent acquisition strategy needs a lot of planning so unlike recruitment talent acquisition requires a deeper look at the nature of your business understanding of the future workplace need so it's not taking a look only at the current requirements of the organization it is looking at the prospective from the future acquiring of the new businesses new departments and maybe something beyond than this as well it is a forward thinking approach what does this actually means that you are not only taking care of the current scenario or a situation you are taking care of any situation which can be a prospective one coming across into the future looking through a wider lens that takes into consideration the local and the global labor markets so let's say when a company is looking forward to planning so it can take care of the planning the way we have managed the covid situation the way we have managed the past recession so the company can look forward to take care of it since talent acquisition does not happen in a vacuum the process involves more planning and strategizing so nothing actually happens in a vacuum second point to discuss more about this will be workforce segmentation talent acquisition depends on understanding the different work segments within a company the different job roles the different departments that are working into the company as well as the different positions within those segments so let's say if we are talking about the finance team over here so it will not include only the workforce segmentation of the manager working on to it it will include every person who is taking care of a different role in the team and the overall department not only we need to have a thorough understanding of the company's inner workings but also know the skills experiences and competencies that each position requires for success so once we are aware that every person has been assigned a particular task to work upon what skill sets are required for that task to be accomplished what experiences of the person is required to go ahead and work it out will it be a fresher role will it be an experienced role how exactly that can be done and the competencies to work into those roles will be much more of importance here employer branding one of the most spoken topics of nowadays 
more than ever before brands are going beyond attracting consumers to attracting talent so it is no longer only the external stakeholders or the customers of the company even people inside the company are spoken as the internal stakeholders ensuring that your company's brand is clear and attractive is the main element in talent acquisition so when as a ta lead we are connecting with different people from different horizons industries and segments and talking to them about the company brand and if they are clear that what exactly this brand is all about or why they should go ahead and care to join an organization your work is done there this involves fostering a positive image and company culture establishing a good reputation based on quality products and services and it cannot happen overnight it takes years for companies to present and prepare a employer brand a solid brand attracts top candidates while giving them a look inside at what it's like to work for your company so there could be certain points into this that can be taken into the consideration beyond the work spoke uh and the scope of the work what exactly the company is doing for its employees or what are the employees do really care about do they care about the community do they care about the society how exactly they are giving it back getting more deeper into this the another point to take care of it is talent scoping and management top talent comes from many different places through talent acquisition you are researching and recognizing the different places where you can source candidates so it cannot be limited to a certain scope of the job portals that we use we there could be multiple sources for the same social media hiring is one of them linkedin facebook twitter instagram whatsapp groups telegram groups it can be anything second comes across as the campus hiring job fairs hiring drives at local places so i would like to cite an example of a company not taking their name here a hiring drive was conducted for an organization in local metro of delhi and it was a huge branding that have given across to that particular employer so maybe anything beyond this scope or having a hackathon on a twitter have also attracted a lot of candidates for the company and the this branding practices have costed actually nothing to the organization once you have established contact with potential candidates you have to maintain and build those relationships so it's not like that that once your connection has been built you are no longer going to connect with them at every stage so even the passive candidates who are not looking out for the immediate job change your ultimate goal is to build a relationship with them from the first day you have made a call to the time they make up their mind to go ahead and look out for a job change or maybe a career change in your organization and all of this this is done with the understanding that most of these candidates will not fill positions right away but rather down the line so you cannot expect the at the first call that you have made to a prospective candidate that he'll be going ahead joining your company next week these decisions take time the way we interact the way we have built a reputation with them the way the company has built reputation into the marketplace all these factors are a reason for the same coming to the metrics and analytics without data there cannot be any department of the hr that can run smoothly so finally no talent acquisition strategy is complete without using key metrics to conduct proper tracking and analysis by collecting and analyzing significant information you can continuously improve your recruiting process and make better hiring decisions ultimately improving your quality of hire so the type of metrics we are considering here is the time to fill time to hire source of hire and less than one year attrition